Good morning and welcome today. We have made it to Friday and today is Good Friday. So I hope you have something lovely planned, um, no school or nursery today. And let's read what happened on Good Friday. So some people didn't like Jesus talking about God. It made them a little bit angry. And so they sent soldiers to take him away. The soldiers gave Jesus a big heavy cross made out of wood. Jesus had to carry it through the city, out of the city and to a nearby hill. The soldiers put Jesus on the cross and stood it up in the ground. A long time went by. It hurt Jesus a lot to be on the cross. The, sto the soldiers stood guard. Many other people came to see what was going on. Jesus talked to God. Father, he said, forgive these people for doing this to me. They don't know what they're doing. And then Jesus died. It seemed like the end of everything, but God had other plans. In a few days time, something would happen. Something amazing and fantastic and wonderful. And Jesus would be alive again forever. Hmm. So this day was a bit sad because Jesus died, didn't he? Has, can you think of a time where you've been a little bit sad? Mama, I've been sad when, when somebody just takes some toys from me when I just had a first. Well, that's a good example, isn't it? So Connie just said she doesn't, she felt sad when her friends at nursery took her toys away and that made her a bit sad. But also we know from this story that something great was going to happen in a few days time. Now I wonder if you know what that amazing thing was and we will see when we get to it in, in a few days time. But what I'd like you to do today is I'd like you to take your Jesus, if you've got your box, take your Jesus and your little bit of white cloth. This was like when Jesus died, they wrapped him in a cloth. So I'm going to wrap my Jesus in the cloth. And I've also got two bits of pipe cleaner. So you've got two, um, they might be brown or a brownish colour in your box but you should have two of these look and I'm going to ask you with your grown-up to try and make those into a cross so they just need to put it together. <coughs> so I just want you to take your two bits of pipe cleaner and get your grown-up to help you wrap those to make a cross shape because today in our um, boxes I want you to pop your box somewhere where you can see it today and you're going to put your cross because that's how Jesus died and you're going to pop your Jesus wrapped in the cloth and we're going to put him inside the box because when Jesus died they actually took him and they put him inside a tomb which is like a um, a big cave with a with a rock in the front of it so they're gonna we're gonna put Jesus in the tomb and then we're gonna close it up and pop that cross on the top to remind us of what Jesus did on Good Friday now are you um, let's pray okay so pop your hands together and close your eyes dear God thank you for sending Jesus Thank you for his friends who loved him and we thank you that we love Jesus. Amen. Amen. Super. Well, we've only got two days left, Saturday, and then we're going to look at Sunday as well. So I will see you again tomorrow. Okay, see you then. Bye.